Hi, this is Alan Shea, and we are here tonight for the mega reunion of Pasadena. And we have two incredible sisters. We're gonna memorialize this great weekend. And so why don't you share with them your name and how did all this inspiration come to put something like this together? Hello everyone, my name is Reverend Phyllis Griffin. The inspiration comes from one of my dearest close friends, a friend of my family, Sheila Larkin McLaughlin, Blair High School, class of 72, had a vision last year, uh, almost two years ago, that uh, it's time for us to come together as one community. Together we make a family with all three schools from the decade of the 70s because it was the 70s that caused a dramatic shift in our schools and in our societies. And so we just want to, in a way, commemorate what we've gone through and where we are now with the decade of the 70s from Blair, PHS, and Mirror. And I have with me my sister, Tammy. She is on the committee as well. Tammy? So Tammy, before we, before we go there with Tammy, why don't, why don't you guys break ground as to the sisterhood of this community that both you and all your sisters were really power players, especially in the 70s for those who didn't know. So you, you gotta kinda share with the viewers what this history is all about because this is the time for us to make it work and memorialize. What are sisters all about? Yeah, sisterhood, the community, and, and did you get your partying on? My name is Tammy Griffin, as you know. Well, sisterhood, I believe, is about just being one and taking one person and teaching them to be better. And as we said, each one teach one, each one reach one. So uh, me having seven sisters, I'm not, not seven, I'm counting myself, six sisters, I've always been one to share, to be able to give knowledge and to accept knowledge, to appreciate knowledge, to disagree with some of the things they say, but we are still as one. We are sisters in God, we are sisters in our mothers, we are sisters in our brothers, and we are sisters in our fathers. We are just sisters and brothers as well, Alan, because you know you're my brother too, baby. So, but um, I was just fortunate enough to be working on the committee with my sister Phyllis as um, a person that I so much admire and adore because she's the person that gets things done. And I have learned that from her all my life. She always just tell me, Tammy, show this back stuff again. Because you always have to be at attention so you won't get left behind. So as long as you stay focused and you and you don't have no attitudes towards no one because God is the only person that can judge you, then you will be all right. But uh, tomorrow night is gonna be an epic night. And uh, me and Alan Shea here, we're the mistress and master of ceremony. So we just got more to come. And hey, we having a good time, man. This is very epic. I'm glad to be a part of it. Thank you. Hey, Bubba. So, so Phyllis, wh why don't you share with the viewers so when they look back on this recordation, they can really understand this whole weekend, the festivities, the 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 different uh, the different events that you have planned, and how many people are you going to be honoring to show how important this community is. Oh, Alan, this is a beloved community. This is the beloved community. Let me start by um, saying that this is the very first class reunion for all three schools that covered a period of a decade. And so as Sister Cheryl Greer said, this is a historical weekend and I'm glad that Pasadena is um, excited about this. One of the things we talked about is that because it is a three-day weekend, tonight we're here at the Maxwell House for our Mix and Mingle, a historical venue, first-class catering, everything you would want to have. Tomorrow night we will be at the legendary Pasadena Hilton Hotel, and there we will spend a few moments in our time for the weekend together where we will honor and recognize those people who made a significant an incredible mark on our lives when we were children. We're now baby boomers. And one of them would be a person that I'm beginning to know and hear so much about. He's gone on to glory now, and that is Major Elby Hickenbottom. 
uh, Bessie Ratcliffe from uh, Pasadena City College, um, Coach Morrow from Blair, a number of people will be recognized because we wanted to uh, give them their honor because we're going to see one another. And when you begin to talk about friends in high schools, then you start talking about your teachers. And so tomorrow night we will set aside a little bit of time just for them because Pasadena is a very small, not small, but small in a sense, close niche community. And in the 70s, we ruled Soul Train. One of our famous model and dancers from Soul Train is here with us tonight, Taish, Alan Crowder, and the rest of the family. And so we know what it's like to have a great time. And so this is all part of us coming together at this wonderful age that we are now and just seizing the moment, seizing the moment for the edification of ourselves. I'm a preacher for the glory of God is what it's all about. And before I let you go, why don't you send a, a big shout out to the youth who will hopefully look at this in a few years and really be inspired by what their future would offer them if they embrace their community. My Lord, you will look at this and you will reflect on and you will see the children of the greatest generation. We are the baby boomers. We are the leaders and the movers and shakers in this community that we love so much. And so when you look back, you won't see many of our parents. We are the ones that made Old Town passable. We are the one that opened up the doors to the Maxwell House. We are the one that used to party on the top of the Hilton Hotel. So when you look back, you're gonna see these are the people that led this city into the 21st century. Wow, well we wanna thank you because you laid out a lot of important elements that hopefully the community will remember when they see this, this documentary yes. and how important in Pasadena meant to us when we were young growing up. So we're thank you very much. Alan. We thank are you. that generation. We are the gateway to hope. We are the great gateway to success. We are here for you. Follow us and we won't lead you in the wrong direction. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. John here, 1974. What a great year, great class, and a great party tonight. All right. And we have another one of the great alumni. Of why don't you share what school and what year? Blair, 1973. Blair, 1973. The mighty, mighty Vikings. That's right. <laughs> want, want to share with the viewers, what does an event like this mean to, first of all, to you, and then share, share with the viewers what it does for our community. So, <laughs> so what this means to me is, like, it was the most exciting thing just to be able to be in the same place with all of the people that I went to junior high and high school with that I haven't seen in forever, that we've been in the same community forever and we shared so much as kids, you know, being bused from one side of town to the other and, you know, we got to know each other in a way that we never would have ever had the opportunity to do in the 70s. And so this event, that 2019 mega reunion just made it possible for us to reconnect with people that we haven't seen in forever. And it is so exciting. It is so exciting. And I have loved watching people come in the door and just throw out their arms and, you know, squeal or holler and carry it on. It's been the best, best, best thing tonight. I really love it. What, what, what would you like to leave with? with the younger generation as it applies to how this community has been dear to your heart and us as adults now that we can appreciate what what our era did for us and, and getting us to be the kind of adults we are today. Yeah, stay connected with your roots. Stay tight with your family and friends. Appreciate them. You know, love them, communicate with them. Just, you know, if it's just a high I was thinking about you, stay connected. This has been what we've done over the years, what is like 45 or more years? Woo! <laughs> or more years. 
that we've been able to stay connected, and I say stay connected. Pasadena is unique like that. The Pasadena Altadena area, stay connected. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you so much, and we're going to look forward to this big three day weekend event. All right, now. Well, we have another one of the uh, alumni of the 70s uh, who is a bulldog. And she's going to share with you viewers really what does an event like this mean to you personally and share with the viewers what does this do for our community to elevate what we're about as community. Well, you know, what it does personally for me is that it's really special to me because I have never made any of my class reunions. Um, I relocated to Seattle in 1979. Um, I came back to Pasadena in 1984 after I received my um, AA in cosmetology. But other than that, upon leaving Pasadena again, going back to Seattle, I missed several of my high school reunions, that being the 10th, 20th, and the, and the 40th. So here this evening, um, amongst all the alum, well not all the alumni, but the alumni from three high schools, Pasadena High, John Muir, and of course Blair. Um, this is really special to me because I know a few people from each school, and so with this being my very first reunion, re I'm sorry, reunion, um, it's, it's, it's really special to me as I was saying, and it's pretty family oriented because because I, I see the rapport that we have with each other and with the theme being together we make a family, it's coming to fruition. And so in that sense, it's, it's very special to me and all in all, um, the, the, um, the family is, it, it, it is the heart and soul of society and, and this event is prompting that connection regarding families. So that's why it's special to me. Well, before we let you go, why don't you share with the viewers really how much this means in the, in the Department of Building and actually implementing a mega reunion that has never occurred here in Pasadena. That's right. Oh my gosh. First of all, I have to give my honor and props to God because he used the individuals that had the, that had the heart to make this happen. And I, I just see it as, um, oh, what can I say? Um, what well, would it be in the first, the very first? I feel that it is a prompting to really pull communities together. I, I see it that way. And um, each, each person in this, during this event, I'm pretty certain that they have a part in, in, act, in, in action in concerning the community in which they live. And just to take this one step further, and, and, and to press on, press on in the areas that they are committed within, within their community, communities. Well, we want to thank you right? so much. That was absolutely wonderful. Okay. This is beautiful. I miss you, Murites, because a lot of you are not here. But who is here is all that matters at this point. Because this is what you so Mirror 75. Well, well, we have amongst us one of the Incredibles, and that is a alumni from John Muir High, class of 75, which was an awesome class. That would be me, Valerie Williams. Okay. And, and the reason why it was awesome is because you guys had such a collection of great individuals who knew how to be friends. And they really taught us underclassmen respect and how to enjoy that high school experience. De definitely, I had moved into um, from LA, predominantly black, to my um, to Don Muir High School. I started in 1972. The first class I walked into 
what had like four black people in my geometry class. That was a culture shock, but it was a beautiful thing. I loved my years at Mir. I was um, the junior class president. I was the girls' activity um, commissioner, and I was the pep commissioner the second half of my senior year. I, I love Mir. We had wonderful athletes. We just had wonderful people. It was a beautiful experience. I would not trade anything for the world. So, Valerie, why, why don't you share with the viewers what does an event like this mean to you personally and mean to the Pasadena community for someone to, to create a mega reunion amongst the three major high schools here in Pasadena? Oh, this is just amazing. Um, I live in Las Vegas, and I've been living in the Las Vegas since um, 2008 and when I and I would come for my reunions um, in our last reunion the turnout wasn't as good and I was thinking at that point that time it would be nice to have a at least a class of 75 reunion with Mir and um, I mean with Mir Blair and PHS because we all knew each other we all intermarried and all that stuff but when they came up with this and one of my best friends, because my friends are all scattered, and one of the ones who are alive, but one of my best friends live in Toledo, Ohio. I told her, I said, I got the ticket if you could get the flight. She here. So this is, you can't beat this. I can't wait till tomorrow. And I would love, I, and Sunday worship is going to be, that's going to be it. Well, I just hope you got enough, uh, enough energy to last three, four active days. With all the folks that we grew up here with here in Pasadena celebrating a mega reunion. It's on, it's, it's on the ground. And then it's so funny, on Sunday when I leave the the Sunday worship and a little bit of the picnic, I'm going to get on a cruise ship. Right. Then I'm going on vacation. I can rest then, okay? Lay on deck. I could be old then, but not now. Thank you. All right. Well, we want to thank you, Bella. Good to see you, Bella. All right. And we're here with another alumni, and she's going to share with you viewers what does a mega reunion mean to you, especially for a three-day weekend. I think it'll be great. I'm really looking forward to it. I have not gone to any of the reunions except for the 35th, I think, or 25th, I can't remember. But um, I thought I would come to this one because it's everybody. And as we're getting older, we also need to make sure we see our friends because we don't know who's going to be here next year. So I'm just excited about it. I'm excited about the dinner. And uh, I've been seeing friends here so far, and it's been really heartwarming. So I'm very glad. And I'm even glad to see you. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure we capture all of our history here in Pasadena. What can you share with the viewers? What does an event like this do for the history that you experienced back in high school? Oh God, it just takes me back to being a song girl uh, with the football team, you know, cheering Mira on for a lot of things. Uh, just a lot of people, I mean, it, in those days, Pasadena was really, to me, thriving. We had a lot of people that were here. We, I had the best school and classmates at that time. It was really, really good. and. I have really great memories, let me say, really, and it was everybody, ja Asian, Japanese, you know, white, we were all like one. It was really good, and then, you know, things have changed, but I'm glad I experienced that, a diverse type of situation, and I'm really happy about that, so. Wow, before we let you go, uh -huh. why don't you share with the, the viewers, especially the younger viewers, how important is a reunion like this in our community and certainly for the future so that the next generation can really appreciate this community? Well, I think, you know, I think right now, more than ever, we need to come together as, as a community and as a country. So to me, this is really important because if you stay in your little silo of your life and you don't really see what other people are doing, 
and people that really think of those back in those days where you had some fun times, some good times, some sad times sometimes with people that really were like your best friends or, you know, associates at us at a school. So come back. Experience it again. With your with, with folks like I'm over here talking to some young ladies. They were my they were my road dogs. You know, but I had various road dogs of people that I had and I'd love to see more people come out. So I hope I see some more people at the dinner. Absolutely. So we wanna thank you and viewers, we wanna certainly thank you for joining us tonight. And stay with us because we got a great three-day weekend plan for our reunion. All right. You got to come out. And then we have all these great memories that you're... Absolutely. All right. So... So we have we have one of the outstanding energetic women of tonight. And she and she's gonna share with us what does a mega reunion mean to you, especially here in Pasadena? A mega reunion to me is get down, get down, whoa. <laughs> and so, enjoying all my friends. So, so so tell the viewers how much fun you plan on having in this three days? I'm going to have a wonderful time meeting all my old friends, young friends, and new friends because we're all from Pasadena, the best city in the world. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I'm Cheryl Brown. Okay. And before we let you go, Cheryl, why don't you share with your younger viewers really what does this mean for our community to pull three schools together to have a mega reunion that will be memorialized for our history. I think this is wonderful because most of us have gone, have, they know people at all schools. So you miss them. I go to two, two reunions every five years. Now I don't have to do that anymore. I can come to one and have fun. Let my hair down. <laughs> but it's wonderful and I think it'll be something to remember and we'll keep on going, I hope. I hope this is not the first one. Right. Okay. Well, and we want to thank you because this type of energy that you're, you're showing tonight will show people how we are proud of our community yes. and how much energy goes into the outreach to make sure people come and support it. Well, everyone needs to come and support it because Pasadena, most of us grew up here and we come back, no matter where we are, we come back because this is our home. Pasadena will always be home. So next time you guys better come or you're gonna miss the fun. You see people from everywhere. <laughs> We want to thank you because that, that's the kind of energy that's going to make people realize we love our city here and everybody here is family. Yes, we are. We've known each other since elementary to high and more on. And if you didn't go to school with them, you met them along the way. So we had fun in Pasadena. Pasadena was a wonderful place. I wish I had bought my house in Pasadena back in the day because I sure would be here. I might have to come back and buy one. Love you guys. Right, but we're with another alumni. Why don't you share with the viewers your class, your school, and what does a mega reunion of this caliber means to you? Well, my name is Terry Wilson, and I graduated from Pasadena High School in 1975. And at that time, uh, this was the crown jewel of education in the nation. The education system was set up by a gentleman named Clark Clur at, U, at UC Berkeley, and he created a strong uh, uh, community college system that would feed the Cal State and UC system. The UC system was designed to serve the professional degrees, and Cal State were teaching institutions. The top one-third of kids out of high school could go to UC. Top two-thirds go to Cal State and then you could go to community college. But no matter where, there, there was a pathway for you. So all of us grew up at that time in that environment. And if you look, whether it was Pasadena High School, Blair, or Muir, 
Pasadena put out a lot of people that have produced and have been uh, dedicated citizens co contributing to their communities wherever they are. And uh, it's just fantastic to reconnect with the people. I must say, though, that I lament the fact that there are a lot of things that need to be fixed in the community. A lot. And we got to get busy fixing them because they're not going to fix themselves. So, so why don't you share with the viewers, and I want you to look into that camera and tell them what does this type of, of reunion mean to move forward in the future since we've been able to pull the, the alumni together in one event, one weekend, and collect all the, the, the focus to make something happen. Well, I think this is a, a moment of, of coming together and reconnecting. It's a germination. I hope that we can take the information that we have and, and start communicating with people and get involved in the community in a focused and, co and, and committed way. And uh, if, we don't re if we don't get out there and, and re uh, get in the community and, and teach our kids, these are our kids, whether you put your kids through college and, and so-called quote unquote made it, your work isn't done until the Lord closed your eyes and if he ain't closing, you got to keep working. And so we got to get into the community, get our kids who need us, and get back into making it what it was when we were in 1975 and earlier in this community. This was all black up here, Altadena, West Altadena. When we had Little League up there, it was like Dodger Stadium. We had our own announcers, concessions, umpires. The men in the community were coaching the team and the mothers were up there and the community was up there all day. And that was what produced what you see tonight, people with doctors and lawyers and people in all walks of life contributing and working for the betterment of their families and others. But we've lost that. And if we don't move now, and I mean quickly, because this generation is sitting down. I don't know what is wrong with them. They think stuff is falling out of the sky, and it is not. You got to still kill and eat. If you, if you want to eat, you got to kill. So we got to get our kids and get back in this community. And I'm, re I'm rededicating my whatever time I have left to doing just that. OK. And, and with that being said, we want you to look into that camera and let the young, the young people who are viewing this this, this tape, this show, this, this event. How difficult is it being an adult if they don't take heed to their youth? Well, let me say this. The youth out here today, there's so many opportunities. Quit complaining. Get out the bed in the morning at five o'clock. As they used to say in the South, get out before day before the light come up, and get busy doing something, something. Have some kind of action, some kind of purpose, something. Because this getting in and staying in the bed till 12 o'clock noon, and opportunities are all on the ground. All you gotta do is pin down, bend down and pick them up. It ain't the white man's fault. It's your fault. And with that being said, that's a good closing for tonight. So we wanna thank you, thank you viewers and enjoy the rest of this three-day festivity that's going on with this mega reunion. Thank you, Alan.